Hello, yes, we need dedicated and committed party activists to win back Britain. That's right. What we don't need, which seems to be the case these days, is relying totally and exclusively by the look of things on social media. Let's take Nick Griffin, British Unity, 28,000 followers. All he does is repost news articles that everyone else has uh, posted or about to repost and he'll give his take on it. Okay, you've reposted your articles, you've criticised the latest uh, Muslim uh, grooming scandal. Okay, what do you plan to do about it? Well, nothing. Paul Joseph Watson, Stephen Molyneux. Paul Joseph Watson, a million subscribers. Wow. Stephen Molyneux, 640,000 plus subscribers. Millennial woes, 31. Thousand and is a good one for you. Paul Golding's Britain Face, nearly two million likes on Facebook. Yes, it doesn't reflect in support or power, does it? You see, what we have to do, we have to go back in there to the communities, talking to our people, and yes, use social media as well. But having topics by Paul Joseph Watson. Stephen Molyneux about Google and diversity isn't going to take us anywhere. None of Millennial Woes' talks are going to achieve anything at all. In fact, zilch. Nick Griffin reposting articles, giving his take on it, is not going to achieve anything. Tommy Robinson marching up and down the high street, causing trouble, demonising the anti-Islamic movement, isn't going to get us anywhere. In fact, the complete opposite. So why are these people doing what they're doing? Nick Griffin, he's more shrewder than the, the rest of them. He'll have reasons why he's doing it. Uh, I'm not going to speculate why, but all the same, it's not achieving anything, Nick, is it? You know it's not. You know exactly it's not. Some of the others are spies. Some of them I don't know. The Geordie's out on them. Though Paul Joseph Watson, Stephen Molyneux, they push MI5 spy Tommy Robinson. They push him all the time. So they need a thick, which they're not which they're not, or the fellow travellers, I'm sorry, million subscription, subscribers or not, doesn't matter. You're pushing someone that's working for the security services, and it's become more obvious by the day what he's up to, right? It's all about trouble, confrontation, right? It's not about taking our cause where it needs to go. It's not about going into the uh, Islamic republics and standing candidates and being a voice for the forgotten beleaguered white working class that have to uh, live amongst this lot, right? Or on the peripheral of them or wherever, right? No one's doing that. There's a book there on my left, Young Radicals. It's very, very good. There's a chapter in there called Persistence and Reward. And again, it's a real eye-opener talks about uh, the challenges young radicals face, why so many enter the movement, why so many leave, but the radicals don't. What separates them from the, dis uh, from the rest? Um, what challenges and uh, problems they face, how to overcome them, community politics, the whole bundle is in that book and I'm enjoying reading it um, as I've been doing so. I've only read a few chapters, but it's very, very revealing. It's very good. Also, it's a gold mine of information as to where they've been going right and we've been going wrong. We need to take a leaf out of their book, right? And not follow the dead end strategy our enemy has laid out for us, whether it's Millennial Woes, he's a snitch, Paul Gold in Britain First, he's a snitch, Tommy Robinson, Jory's out on Stephen Molyneux, Paul Joseph Watson, right? Well, they may as well be, because what are they doing? Nothing. Okay, you may have a million subs, uh, subscribers, Paul Joseph Watson, on YouTube, but what are, what are those one million subscribers doing? Nothing. No one's standing any candidates or... Uh, going into the communities, talking to the, the forgotten, beleaguered, white working class, which we need to do. They're either sailing around the Mediterranean, uh, wasting money, that's literally going down the Med, achieving zilch, 
or Tommy Robinson more jump down the high street or writing books regarding murderous Quranic verses out the Quran which Paul Joseph Watson covered again achieving nothing or the latest grooming scandal in Newcastle one thing about the grooming scandals if the Rotherham one hasn't told you that this doesn't resonate with the public let alone get British Nationalist councils elected then nothing will the public's not interested it doesn't like it it's seedy it's distasteful it's not nice but it doesn't, it won't lose any sleep over them because the social service, you know, uh, cases and waves and strays that we can't do nothing for it anyway. It's sad, I know. It shouldn't be happening. Granted, and we should indeed cover it, but let's stand candidates and cover it. That's how we do it, but not the social media. It's not achieving anything. And we do indeed need dedicated and committed party activists to win back Britain. Okay, thank you.